welcome back to another video so as you can see from the thumbnail i will be doing the viral um g nails as you can see my nails are already prepped and ready to go next i will be using these tips that i got from amazon and i'm just going to apply those with my mccart nail glue and then i'm going to use these magnets and i'm going to size them with the correct amount of magnets that i like to use next of course i'm just going to use my panna 80 grit um, nail file and i'm just going to size those up a little bit i did want these nails to be square and then after that i will use my um, drill and a sanding band from a car as well and take the shine off of the nail tip i'm also going to use the nail file and blend the nail tip in with my natural nail you can use this with the drill but sometimes when i use it when i do this part with the drill i end up filing into my natural nail and that just causes further damage so i just rather use a file Now I'm going to take the No Lift Nails Primer and I'm going to apply that all over my nail beds. And I'm going to apply two coats of this and making sure that I really rub the brush into my nail bed. Now after you apply that primer, you want to take the nail plumper from McCart and you're going to apply that as well. Alright, so now that you applied your nail plumper, we want to start on our poly gel application. In this video, I will be using McCart's poly gel in the number 335. I got this poly gel in a poly gel kit um, on Amazon. I think it was their French one. I don't know if they still sell it, but I will link it down below. And I will be using this Kalinsky brush that I also got from Amazon that I love to use and it will also be linked down below so as you guys can see i will be doing the two bead method because that's just what i prefer um my first bead is basically done and then i will well first i'm going to do that to all my fingers and then we're going to do the second bead so i'm not going to try to talk too much during this video um so i will let you guys watch that and then when i need to i will come back
Now I didn't show how I filed and shaped my nails, but if you would like a video on that, like me including that in a video, I would gladly do so. Just comment down below. All right, before we get into any of the nail art, you want to apply a matte top coat, and the one that I'm using is from Poochie's Nails. Applying a matte top coat first just ensures that everything will go on smoothly and you won't get any lumps and bumps in your gel polish. Okay, matte top coat is applied. Now I want to use um, this blue. All my polishes from my card, so I'm gonna use their black, their white, and this blue that I got from one of their kits that I got from Amazon. So you want to put some of the blue, then a little bit of black, and then I'm going to separate some of that mixture and make a lighter mixture. So I will add a white to that. All right, so as you see, I have two gel polishes on my palette now. So I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to paint a full nail of the darker color, which is the jean part of the nail, I mean part of the design. And I'm just going to keep like stroking the color on the nail just because this color is like thin. So you want to um, just keep doing it until it's like not as streaky. Like it's not a big deal because jeans can be a little streaky, but you know, I'm a perfectionist. So I like to keep working with it. All right, so now I'm going to use this tool that I got from Ina Couture. It's like a little, kind of like a beauty blender. And I'm going to take that light color, um, that lighter blue, and I'm going to, oh man, I'm not in focus. I'm not in, I'm not in, you can't see me. But all I'm really doing is using the beauty blender type tool. And I'm just dabbing it onto the nail, like as you see right here. And I'm really like not doing this in the center of the nail, but like kind of like all over the nail, but like not really. Um, I'm not in view right now, but I will show you exactly what I'm doing a little bit later on my ring finger for sure. I don't know about my pinky, but my ring finger for sure you will see it. All right, so here is what we were finally able to look at. Now I'm just going to do start on my thumb and I want my thumb to be a French nail. So with this brush, I don't know what it was or what came into me, but I used the brush to basically outline my French. Like I usually don't ever do that, but it was really convenient and I like the method. So I'm gonna keep doing it. And of course, after outlining, you want to just fill all that in and then you will use a thin liner brush and go over your smile line just to make it a little bit more crisp.
Okay, so here is what I'm working with. And let me just say, that French looks amazing. So, um, I think I'm going to do, yeah, I'm gonna do my ring finger. And because outlining just worked out so amazing, I'm gonna do it again here. And I'm going to do a little, um, kind of like a swirl where I wanted the nude to show. And of course, after you outline, you want to use a liner brush and you want to just go over and make everything a little bit more crisp and just refine it a little bit more. And then you want to fill in the blue. All right, so on my pinky, we're gonna do another French and we're gonna do it just like the thumb. All right, so it looks like I had lots of trouble with the pinky nail, but now that it's finally done, we're going to do more of the um, the light color on the blue, so I promise that you guys are gonna be able to see. So here we go, I'm just dabbing it on there. Um, and then I will also do a second coat of this lighter color because I wanted it to stick out a little bit more.
Okay, so I cured the first um, coat. Now we're just gonna do the second layer and I'm focusing this more in like the middle of where I put the first coat just be so it can give like more of like a gradient type of thing going on I don't know how to explain it guys but just watch it's not it's not it's not difficult at all so when doing this I learned that when dipping the little beauty blender tool and the light polish if I was to dip if I was to pat too hard onto the nail, it would become like a like a like a big white lighter blue that's too prominent or that's too bright on the dart that I wanted. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But so what I would do is if it's like showing up too bright on the nail, I would use a dry piece of the beauty blender that doesn't have any color on it as you see right here and i'm just dabbing it to like either take it away or blend it in with the dark blue a little bit more all right of course i'm going to take this mia secret gel paint and the color white and now I'm going to do the most time consuming thing I've ever done in my entire life. The stitching on these, je on these jean nails. So with my stitches, I wanted to do more like true religion jeans where it's double stitched. So I did more than what the, my inspiration picture did. So it took forever and I did 10 fingers. So of course, I'm going to spare you guys and not show you. So I only showed you this little portion. So I didn't see, when I looked at all the trending inspiration pictures of this design, I didn't see anyone do any pockets. So this was the perfect opportunity for me. So here I am trying to do a pocket. Now here's the pocket. And we're gonna do more stitches. And I just wanna point out, I'm not complaining about the stitches. I'm just saying the stitches were difficult. And let's just imagine how hard they were to do with my left hand. On my right hand, I'm right-handed. So my non-dominant hand doing these stitches on my dominant hand. Just imagine how much cleanup I had to do. So after doing all these stitches, I went ahead and added a little shadow at the top of the pocket. So like, do you see it right there? It's a little black shadow. I think it's so cute and it really uh, made a difference. All right, so now I'm going to apply another layer of matte top coat just to protect our gel polish before I add on the rest of my design. And since I'm going to, since this is the second coat of matte top coat, you really want to make sure you're wiping your sides um, to keep your shape nice and crisp. So I know that I said earlier that these this design was inspired by True Religion jeans, but I have these stencils um, that have crosses in them. So I was thinking about um, chrome heart jeans that have color crosses on them and I think it's so cute so I decided to do that so now I'm just going to place the stencil onto my nail and I'm going to take some um, some pigment powders that I got from Amazon and of course I'm going to use pink and I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to 
just put it onto my nail. Okay, so here is what we're looking like. I think it looks so freaking pretty. Like a gasp for air when I took it off. And here's my reaction to me taking this pencil off. So after you take the stencil off, you want to take, I just took a little bit of acetone. You probably didn't need acetone, but that's what I, I used just so I made sure that it came off. Um, just wipe that extra pigment powder off and then I'm going to do it on my thumb. So now that I got my crosses onto my nails like the way that I want them, I'm going to add the silver jewelry. Um, I put this on with, of course, my cards of rhinestone glue, and I'm using this mini flashlight from Eno Couture. So when I was looking at the nails, I was like, um, oh, the back pocket is missing something. So I um, put this little cross on there, and as you can see, the thing is just sliding right off of it because I thought I cured it and didn't even realize. But eventually I will end up realizing and I added the audio in just because I thought it was hilarious. And I'm also going to be adding these silver um, planet charms as well. Wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys i was so stressed out like i started panicking because nothing was staying like how i wanted to so i immediately cured everything so after that happened i forgot to press record again so all of my gems are on there uh, I was also testing to see if I liked it shiny or matte top coated. I ended up choosing shiny. Um, and now I'm just finishing up my gems. And then you want to make sure you top coat in all of your gems because you don't want any of that silver to turn when you're washing hands. And then you're going to add your cuticle oil and we're all done. Now I did tweak my design a lot because they had pieces of jeans sticking out on their on their nail. I didn't think that was practical because me, I actually wear my nails. Um, and I didn't want wet pieces of jeans on my nails after I washed my hands. So I left that out. But I love the way I went with this design. It came out so pretty, so extra girly. Um, so if you guys liked it as well, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You can also comment down below what you guys may want me to see. Thank you and bye!